Hello Saints and with the Lord's Grace Future Saints. Today's study will be on the dispensation called Law. And uh, Law is number five on our list. First was Innocence where God interacted with humans face to face. Then we had Conscience where humans were to follow their God provided conscience. Then Human Government in which God's expectations were to be enforced by human institutions and promise God's promise to Abraham and his descendants now the dispensation of law began at Mount Sinai when God administers the law to his people through Moses this dispensation was closely associated with his relationship with Abraham Isaac and Jacob the dispensation of law takes up a huge chunk of the Old Testament and the beginning of the New Testament all the way from Exodus to Apostle Paul. Now, if you remember, each dispensation has six parts to it. Manager, time, period, human responsibility, failure, judgment, and grace. So the manager for this dispensation would be Moses and Israel as a nation. The time is at Mount Sinai until the crucifixion of Jesus Christ all the way to Paul and human responsibility keep the whole law. The failure was they broke the laws continuously. The judgment is worldwide dispersion and grace the promised Savior is sent. So the time period we're looking at here is right around uh, Moses to Paul 1500 BC to 37 AD. Now God administers the law to get his people to understand the difference between righteousness and sin and also to point to their coming Messiah Jesus. We see how God uses the law to show people their sins in Romans chapter 3 verse 20. Therefore by the deeds of the law there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. And we know that the law didn't save people, nor was it ever meant to. Also, the law didn't abolish the Abrahamic covenant, which is unconditional and is still waiting fulfillment today. Now, the law can be thought of as a conditional co uh, covenant given specifically to the nation of Israel and it was also a temporary covenant made void by the new covenant God established with all people. Now you see, during the dispensation of law, the law defined for the Israelites how and when God would bless their nation based on their ability to keep the law. We see this in Exodus chapter 19 verse 5. Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people for all the earth is mine now of course we know that they weren't able to keep the law to reach the level of righteousness God demands and we see evidence of this when the law was given to Aaron but instead they, they chose to create a false god an idol in the form of a golden calf and we see this in Exodus chapter 32 now the law was Israel, Israel only and not Gentiles. Jesus mentions this in Mark chapter 12 verse 29 and 30. And Jesus answered him, The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. Now our brother and Apostle Paul also explained that the law was for Israel and not the Gentiles, nor was it for the body of Christ. Look at Romans chapter 2 verse 14. For when the Gentiles, which have not the law, do by nature the things contained in the law, these having not the law, are a law unto themselves. Also Romans chapter 9 verse 4 through 5. Who are the Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises? 
Whose are the fathers of whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ came, who is over all, God blessed forever. Amen. Also, in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 11 through 12, Wherefore, remember that ye, being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by, though, by that which is called circumcision in the flesh made by hands, that at that time ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. Now, the covenant God made with the Israelites through the law we see in Exodus and Deuteronomy. And it lasted uh, thousands of years. But keep in mind, it was only temporary. But to them, it seemed permanent. Because they were under the law for centuries upon centuries of time. And it was very, very difficult to get, just get the Israelites to snap out of the mindset of being under the law. And we can see uh, Paul explain the ending of this dispensation in Galatians chapter 3, 19. Wherefore, then serveth the law. It was added because of transgressions till the seed should come to whom the promise was made, and it was ordained by angels in the hand of a mediator. Now the failure of Israel to keep the law really molded their history from Mount Sinai all the way to 70 AD when the temple was destroyed. But keep in mind the mystery. Paul's gospel was kept hidden in God until Israel rejected God completely with the stoning of Stephen and we'll be seeing this in the next dispensation called grace. Now the law was fulfilled in Jesus. Look here at Matthew chapter 5 verse 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. Jesus' fulfillment means that when we put our faith in him we're made justified by him and not through the law. In Galatians chapter 2 verse 16 knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law but by the faith of Jesus Christ even we have believed in Jesus Christ that we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Now, you know, I really can't get my head around some Christians who legalistically keep the Sabbath and follow the dietary laws and pile upon themselves all these laws found in the Old Testament. You know, they just don't know God's word and it's sad it's very sad and it's a perfect example of what not rightly dividing God's word does it creates confusion and what they're doing is exactly what Paul talks about in Galatians concerning following another gospel and in order to have another gospel besides the true gospel of grace okay you have to have grace plus works they place themselves back under the law all over again trying to get to heaven some other way besides going through the door who is Jesus Christ alone by faith alone through grace alone without anything else added to it okay so Jesus's ful fulfillment of the law ushers in the next dispensation of grace and that'll be our next study uh, in this series and thanks for studying with me saints and I'll see you in that next video